up into the Yukon and North 61. I don't think I'm going to have time to go moose hunting this year. And uh, we still have a full freezer, so not nearly a full freezer. So we are spending some time mounting my uh, son's uh, antlers from last year. So this is a just a little piece of spruce. It'll be the first mount. We're going to plaster Paris that in. And then I've got some uh, fur from the 30s from dredge number 10 from Dawson City uh, for the plaque. So uh, I didn't realize how dirty these uh, guys got. So I've been pressure washering. And then we'll, we've salted this and scraped it as good as we could. We, we left it dry out all, all winter time. And I'm probably going to end up boiling that middle a little bit just to get all the fat and stuff out, out, of, the, out of the head piece. Screw it onto this piece, put plaster Paris mold around it, cover it with leather, put it on dredge number 10, then figure out where we can mount it. But I think that's a nearly 50 inch. I think that's a 48 inch piece of, we're not, uh, we're not really uh, antler hunters, but when they come our way, we, we'll try to, we'll try to memorialize them. We're more meat hunters, but, uh, so this is a new experience for us. See, there's the dredge number 10 flat. So that's reclaimed wood that was uh, taken off a of dredge number 10 that uh, was a part of the gold trade in Dawson in the 30s. And uh, I'll show you what it's gonna kinda look like. Imagine there'll be a dome around this covered with black velvet or maybe some leather and uh, I have to figure out how to take some of these blood spots off of, make that a little whiter probably gonna have to boil this there's you can see there's still a layer of fat on there so we're gonna have to boil that all off and I have no idea what kind of pot we're gonna use to do that but we're getting there <laughs> part one Part two coming up. There goes my son, the moose hunter. <laughs>